When Chain Nicholas was about two and a half years old, um, I noticed that he wasn't develop he was developing differently than the other children. He would repeat videotapes that he was interested in at the time, like Thomas the Tank Engine, and he would just repeat all of the lines. And I thought, well, this is good, he's developing language, but it never developed beyond that. And so I started looking at things, checking out things on the internet. There was a whole list of things. Um, it was echolalic, which meant that he re repeated all of the videos and things that he was interested in, and that was the extent of it. So that's when I was very, became very concerned and took him to a doctor in Tokyo. And the doctor said that he definitely displayed those symptoms and that I should buy some books on autism to educate myself on the subject. And um, of course I was very upset. Um, there was a lot of stress at that time. I spoke to my dad on the phone and he told me about a doctor in North Carolina that was treating children for um, heavy metal toxicity. Um, heavy metal poisoning and um, to me that was, uh, there, there seemed like there was some hope then that we could get him better and so we packed up and we, we came back to the States. Three weeks into the treatment, the transdermal DMPS, um, my son just started speaking a lot more. Uh, he used to hesitate and kind of go like, uh, uh, and then the words would finally come out and then just a few weeks into the treatment, he could spit things out a lot faster. He started um, using more Japanese. His father is Japanese, my husband. Um, and he had really never seemed to be very interested in the Japanese language until we started the treatment. And he would come, he would be with his father, talking to his dad, and then he would come to me. <laughs> he would say, oh, daddy said something in Japanese, and then he translated to English for me and that just amazed us. And he's doing more and more of that all the time now. What did you do with all the coins in Grandma's room? Where did you put them? I put it in the piggy bank. Very good. What did you do with the trash? No, it was blowing away. What, what blew away? The trash. I don't think that he, my son, could have progressed as, as far as he has, and um, the protocol has, has really helped him in a short period of time, and I can just, I can see the progress, and that um, he's going to be okay.